Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clara's channel. Thank you all for clicking. This is episode 18 on Mr. Achu's project. Alright, so we are welcoming you all. It's been a long day for me. I'm extremely tired. Today we are back on Mr. Achu's project. This is a beautiful 3D representation of the two bedroom one bedroom apartment so you notice that this is the front we have four shops at the front and then at the back of the shops we have an apartment which is the ground floor and then we go to the first floor we have on the left one bedroom apartment and then on the right two bedroom apartment so when you come and you are single you can choose one bedroom apartment if you have a family you can choose the two bedroom apartment this is a unique style you understand this is the rooftop it comes with a, a hidden gutter so apparently we are on the first floor superstructure so we have a ground floor of let's say we begin with a foundation after the foundation we go to the ground floor superstructure after ground floor superstructure we go to the floor decking okay which is the first floor floor decking after the first floor floor decking we have the first floor superstructure okay so this is the first floor superstructure once we complete this one then we're going to go to the second floor decking you understand second floor decking okay i'm saying this because my clients always want to learn and he's checking everything he's checking man i like his you know once he has a free time he watch all the videos he you know he want to capture everything and that for me that is good try to understand you understand try to understand uh, if you have the time read around certain things and understand how it works it makes your life very easy this it's just simple questions oh what is this oh what is this and then he gets answers for me that is refreshing at least he's learning you understand yes so we are here at the superstructure pretty well everything is going very good our carpenters have done the boarding for the pillars okay yes not yet completed you can see that iron rod poking there that needs to be done so majority of them that just a few ones left here they have to finish this block work right here raise it up the details of the block work are too much so we don't want to you know make it in a hurry and then also the doors you know because they are going to be architrates by the doors we need to make sure that those details of the block work protrudes from both angles you know from the left and then on the right edges of the block work so that the frame can sit properly and lock and then the architrates will come on the edges so if you're building and you don't pay attention to those details um, it doesn't make it beautiful at the end of the day so those are areas that are more important to me and I keep attention to that like this block protruding here okay yeah this is very and that one over there is very very important okay if you're building and you miss those protruding blocks just a little bit man then that's it because if that is a window the frame is going to sit there and it's going to hold it properly but if you make it flat it will not hold properly you understand it will not hold properly okay and again ensure that all the pipes are pressure pipe ensure that one okay yes the reinforcement are exactly the same because this is a continuation project some instances you can reduce from 16 mm to 14 mm but no here we are doing the same 16 mm from the foundation 16 mm all the way through you understand and we are not reducing the number of rod in a stripe we are still maintaining the same it has to be six rod in a stripe are you with me six rod in a stripe it is very very crucial okay yes because most of the building will be resting on the columns the block are just a supporting ones but the middle characters that carries the load is the columns 
So those columns should be thick enough, the rods should be positioned well enough, they should be quality rod to be able to carry the load. You understand? Yes. So this is exactly what we're doing. Okay. So now all the pillars should be cast and the carpenter should prove the board properly. You know, the board should flush with the block so that when they cast the concrete, it will not spill out from the edges. You understand? It is very, very important because when a carpenter fails to do that, the, the mortar or the concrete will spill out, it will push the board and then you have a thicker concrete stack up there and then when it's time for plastering, they have to chisel it in because they need to get a very smooth surface level. Are you with me? Plastering has got a gauge. They don't just stack up the mortar. It's got a gauge. Are you with me? And so everything should be in accordance okay yes so hopefully this is the area that we are building it's a very wonderful area and hopefully in the next year or two the entire area is going to be filled with houses initially when we started if you go to episode one you will see that it looks like the environment looks somehow empty except the house that is closer to us and there are some few houses scattered in between but all of a sudden, the whole place looks like it's getting full. People are building. <laughs> Alright, so here you can see that the block work is done and the carpenters are in for the beam works. Beams are very, very important. Okay, yes. And they need to have level pegging. If, if the block work, if, if they don't achieve a top level on the block work, it makes it difficult for the carpenter and that of the steel bender. So they must achieve a very uniform top level so that here he's placing what we call the beam plate. Okay, the beam plates cut across all of them. Okay, uh -huh. before the boards will come on both edges. Okay, this is for the lintel beam. And the lintel beam, as per the structure design, you would have to follow. Okay, the thickness because there's another slab coming to sit on the beam. So this beam should be thick enough, the rod should be as per the size, if it is 10 inches, 11 inches, 9 inches, it should be the same cut across. If the blocks are not uniform, some places will be 10 inches, some places will be 9, some places will be 11, some places will be 6, because the block work is not uniform, you understand? So it is very, very important that top level for a mason should be their priority. So that the mason and the steel bender will not have a difficult time you know trying to position the beam plate okay all right so the carpenter is doing the form work this is what we call the form work okay so the form work should be done this takes a lot of board it takes a lot of board the board that you use for the ground floor decking majority of them you cannot transfer to the second floor decking at least 30% of them will be damaged, so you need to buy another one. Okay, but here, we, we didn't go back to the client. We have to make sure everything is sorted out. Are you with me? Which probably for me, in my next estimate preparation, this is how I learn. I learn from past projects. So whatever de deficit or challenges that we were faced with, when I'm moving to another project, I'm able to, you know, position myself in a way that we don't suffer the same losses. Are you with me? So it helps a lot. It helps a lot. Two by fours, you're going to cut and chop most of them. And so the design of the ground floor probably might differ from that of the first floor. So the two by fours might not work. So you have to buy new ones. The Wawa balls, some of them will go bad. So that's Papa J, my, my carpenter. The Wawa board, some of them will go bad. You understand? And so you need to replace them. So all these should be factored into the estimate, especially when you have contingency. You know, yes, everything we are doing here is well planned. We are supporting because in this estimate, there was no contingency. Are you with me? Yes, and I was still learning in that process. I was still learning. And for that matter, there are certain things that we don't go back to the client and request. We 
manage from one side and shift to the other side that is how it goes okay so now they've done for the board work here the steel bender will come right after the completion of the carpenter are you with me yes everything is done in, and my carpenter here if you have an old plywood he will not use it if he checked the plywood and it's weak he will not use it because if you're using a weak plywood for your decking that's a recipe for disaster that's a recipe for disaster because I mean you you are building this mega house and you're using cheap plywood for a flow decking it will crack it will make the, the slab very weak because the, the boards are not strong enough to retain the concrete in the stand so he, he will not use any weak plywood for, for his decking that I can assure you from my carpenter Joshua Adam are you with me he's very very good at his work okay everything looks beautiful okay looks beautiful so in the next episode you'll be seeing the final works of the carpentry form work all right they're going to lay the DPM on top and all of that you'll be seeing it and once they are done the steel bender or the steel fixer will come in and he will also begin his work after the steel fixer will move on to the plumber the electrician and then finally the carpenter will come back and do the facial boarding are you with me if you love this video please give it a thumbs up have you subscribed yet if not please look on the right hand side it says subscribe okay and put it on post notification whenever i drop a video you'll be the first to be notified from me to you shalom god bless you bye bye